Today marks one year since the release of the first set of breathtaking images from the James Webb Space Telescope. It's NASA's largest and most powerful space telescope revolutionizing astronomy. Here to celebrate and show us something new is Nancy Levinson, NASA Interim Director of Space Telescope Science Institute. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show this morning. Uh, this is absolutely my pleasure to get to share this with you. We appreciate your time. Uh, tell us all about this photo. Tell us what it is you feel when you look at it. It's, it's truly remarkable. It, it is, and and that that's just it. The first thing is that 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 feeling, that emotional response about how beautiful this is. That the the universe is absolutely gorgeous, um, and then uh, I, as a scientist, go to that next level of what are we really looking at? And here, it's a stellar nursery, a place where new stars are forming, um, and so there are at least 50 new stars that we can detect here. And some of them are glowing and lighting up the material around them. Some of them are deeply buried. And so we see dark regions. And so then we go to that next level to understand how, how stars form and how they live their lives. Yeah, Nancy, this is truly breathtaking when you look at this image. Uh, how does this telescope work with other telescopes to give us this complete view, if you will, of the universe? Exactly, and you, you absolutely hit the nail on the head there of getting the complete view by looking in different ways. So Webb specializes in infrared light. We can't see that with our eyes, but we sometimes feel it as, as heat. And so that's what we're detecting with Webb. But if we look, for example, with Hubble, we do detect the light that we see with our eyes and also ultraviolet light. And so when we get to put together these different views of the universe, we get that more complete picture and really understand better. Seeing these images, you know, this is sort of within your playground, but I cannot imagine that this is ordinary for you. I know it's out of this world for us, but uh, this is just absolutely astonishing. Yeah, it absolutely is astonishing. And, and even as astronomers, really, we, we, we catch our breath when we look at these things. We, we catch our breath when we, when we understand what we're, we're able to learn. Um, for example, I love studying galaxies. Galaxies contain hundreds of billions of stars and learning about them in the nearby and in the distant universe is, is just wonderful for us. Where can uh, folks go to view these images to keep up with the images that are being released? Absolutely. So jwst.nasa.gov and also on social media at NASA web. Uh, we release images and discoveries all the time. So, so check it out and it's all available for the public. So I hope everyone can really enjoy these things and learn from them. Nancy, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it.